because anything is possible. Everything is possible. You know what I mean? It's only that everything and anything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. I understand. Do what you want to do. What's the best action? Whatever you feel like it is at the moment. Whatever you are most compelled to do. Composion. You have intuition. You have impulse. And then you have compulsion. Yes, you got an impulse, then you got you got an impulse, and you got compulsion. If you're compelled to do something, that means you are inspired. Yes, but not necessarily so, because is that the same word? They are related words that describe similar effects as well as kind of uh, fucking ideas or rather references, you know what I mean? But if it was the same word, then it'd be the same letters. And inspired got I in it while compelled got E's in it <laughs> and the L and two L's and inspired and got no L's in it and both got a P in it and you know what I mean one got an M one got an N they next to each other in the alphabet but what we're talking about and what we're referring to in totality is action both of these particular terms are verbs relating to actions because a verb is nothing but an action and you got a noun now that's a person it could be a person place or a thing yes which are you not a verb you are active yes to be alive means to be in motion yes moving yes animation so is that not action so how are you not a verb why is a name the title of who you are considered a pronoun and not an adverb well that's because we're talking about grammar we're talking about this institutionalized institutionalized construct that is language in itself Modern language, not original language, but modern language. Okay, this new, newly developed, standardized communication weapon. Because yeah, you got weapons and you got tools. You use weapons and tools for what? For action, for activity. Activity. Except for one build and one destroy. When it comes to what you will do and what is the best thing to do, well, you have to be doing so that you can compare the sensation derived from particular endeavors, particular activities, particular decisions so as to involve your active facilities within whatever particular pursuit, particular investment. Uh, development, indulgence that you are compelled or inspired so as to entertain, so as to uh, activate, so to speak, through your action, through your movement. You cannot take action without moving. Even when you're thinking, your brain is, they say your brain is moving, and your thoughts are moving, your moving thoughts. As far as what it is that you want to do, it may be hard to do what you're doing. For one, you have to learn the best way to do it so as you can be satisfied with the results. And that you can be quality. You can have a quality experience. It can be worth the time it takes. And the more time spent can be then, of course, expanded and multiplied within and throughout itself the time being that is spent doing a particular action yes so it can be hard because not everything is so possible even though anything is possible it's only so possible there are degrees and ranges to its difficulty 
however possible or impossible it may be, there's still the element of ease and effort. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, don't let the easy thing be the first thing. <laughs> That's, I mean, just for me to you, you probably want to get ready to be finished. Do what you want to do. It's going to make you most content. It's going to make you most, I don't want to say happy, but um, it's going to bring the most peace. Which, you know, you know, peace is, is, is fantastic. It's, it's a wonderful concept, peace is, yes. We, we live in a very violent world. As far as peace, now that's something that has never been except for at the beginning. Yes, and the larger thing is out of the way. Now this is just the, the easy shit, you know. The best thing to do is always the hardest thing, as I have said before. You know, but just because it's the best thing does not make it that you want to do. It should be that you want to do what it is that is best to do, that you need to do. If we need to do anything, I would imagine that would add to its importance to make and, and that would add to its priority. I'm going to say that again to you. It's degree and level of necessariness should ideally in an ideal peaceful world a particular action individually or collectively and its degree and level of necessity should add to its importance i.e. or slash significance relevance this particular action your own individual personal action we'll, we'll, we'll focus on that for now your own individual personal action let alone how it applies to universal possibilities these actions this action starting with could you only do one action at a time I mean Really, you can do many actions simultaneously. However, that also is an, another aspect of its universality. Yes. These actions that you focus on, that you are compelled to consider, that you're inspired to consider these actions. Yes. Because anything is possible. You can do not only anything, but everything. And not only everything, but everything in anything not only can you do everything in anything you are doing everything every time you choose anything Every time you even begin to feel like you would want to choose anything, you're already doing everything. When it comes to action and the best action, when it comes to action and the best action, sometimes we have to sacrifice, sometimes we have to uh, submit ourselves to service in the interest greater good in the interest of priority of importance of potentiality of possibility of universal life in the interest of life simply simply put of action which is life movement in the very interest of movement itself. When it comes to what we are choosing, what actions we are, take, we are choosing to take, 
just as every action has a reaction and cause has its effect and effect has a cause, every choice serves a purpose, a most, a most immediate and direct purpose, as well as extended and overall purpose. Every action, every choice, every decision serves some purpose or another, more so or less. comes to what we are choosing, what actions we are taking, we are choosing to take, or are compelled or inspired to take, or perform, rather. There's no limits. So, what is the range? What is, you know, what's on the menu? Well, if everything's on the menu, and you only got one stomach, and it's, you only got one reservation, per said particular performance, then that's where selection comes in. When it comes to selection, you're usually not gonna be most comfortable, most satisfied, most fulfilled, most engaged, most inspired or compelled to do or to choose or to select something that you are that does that you don't like, that you don't want. It does not fit your preference for this particular performance. Do what you want to do. Yes. So it would make sense that you probably would, it would probably be smarter, the wisest thing to do to, <laughs> to, uh, you know, focus your energy to, you know, at least channel some, some energy, at least as much as you can, aside from what you, what you aren't, for whatever reason, whether you can or can't, or don't or didn't, or will or won't, uh, whatever it is that you do, it is that you do, wherever it is that you are consciously, you know, uh, deciding, which that's what it comes down to. You, know, you got to make those decisions, man. You can't just be like, you know, floating around, just you know, letting other people make, you know, use your brain for you, yo. Simple as that. You gotta make those decisions, homie. You know what I mean? And do what you want to do. What you want to do should be wrapped around what you need to do, but it's like, we need peace of mind. This is a, this is a necessity. It's not an option. It's not a, it's not a luxury, yeah? It's peace of mind. It's not a luxury, yeah? You shouldn't have privacy only if you have enough money to buy it. You shouldn't have safety only when you have enough money, like it's a luxury. Yeah? So as far as your decisions, if you first of all you got that's that's the bottom. It's 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 survival, and then then you go into what you want. You have to y- your needs have to be secure and fortified before you even move into what you want. And so a lot of us aren't even. Factored, factored. We aren't even angled. We are not even at liberty. We are not even liberated to the point. Not to say that we aren't liberated. You are liberated. You are as liberated as you are. And hearing me saying that you aren't liberated because it's not for me to say what you are or not. And for me to invite you to towards liberation through my statement is very powerful. And that is what I'm, what I'm open to. That's what I'm, you know what I mean? That's what, what I'm about. That's where, I, where my composure, you know what I mean? It's, or it originates. That's where my inspiration originates. Towards your, towards your universal <laughs> and important liberation. Okay? Because that's what a decision is. It's a liberation. Yes, you're liberated from one possibility through another possibility that is now manifested through cultivation yes yes so as far as us being liberated and into the second stage of wants from needs yes if 
there's anyone unsafe, if there's anyone unsound, unsound on our planet, on our planet, then we don't really even we the menu is is augmented. Then the menu itself is it, it's a limited menu. We're at ha we're on the happy hour right now. It's only you know what I mean. So much you can even order off the menu at the moment. You feel me? We want a specialty delicacy. You know what I mean? We want the open menu. We have to open the menu first. Man. Right now. The whole restaurant is under is under renovation at the moment, so you can only get a fucking you can only get coffee right now. Yeah. Right now we can only they, they know the kitchen is closed actually right now. To be I mean the whole kitchen not closed, but the chef is also the maintenance man right now. So it's like you know what I mean. First of all, you gotta wait. You know what I mean. They still running business, you know, because you know it's. The restaurant don't close, you know what I mean? This is the, the top restaurant in the universe. So it's like, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? You got your reservation, you it's reservations for the next 30 million years. So it's like, you better not miss your reservation. <laughs> and make sure you got a date to bring with you because you don't, you know what I mean? The tables, you know what I mean? It ain't no too many tables for one this month. But you can only offer, they only offer so much off the menu right now because of course, it's renovating. It's in the first stage of renovation and once come after, of course, the uh, the reopening. Right, so as far as what you want to do, even what you want to do is compromised by what is available based on the fact that you're not even your full self, right? Because you can't, you ain't got no privacy. You feel me? You don't have no security. You, I mean, there's there's an element of security that you're going to have to accept, that you're going to have to rely on. But it's not full. It's not even real because it's at any point it could just change. Right. When if it was already secure and it, it set in stone, that could change, too. But at least it would be changing from something that it should be not into more of what it's designed and deserves to be. Deserves to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, that's just a little bit, it makes you feel a little better. That's more of definitely what you would want. But one, that's the difference between wants and needs. A need is something that is necessary, which makes it more important and take priority at least it should than over a want but as we see being that these needs have been unmet and are unmeeting <laughs> they now be, they they fall you know what I mean they fall back in importance and priority to where wants now have become the needs and I mean that we that we now are rooted our foundation is not sound you know what I mean we rooted you know what I mean we building it sand to be to be completely clear you know what I mean you, you want to build on a mountain you want to you know what I mean you can't be building on a beach you know what I mean for real this is the situation and that's just the situation. And, and that's why, you know, I pour my, and that's why I, re, I reach out. And that's why it's like, I have nothing but compassion. You know, I have nothing but compassion. Cause it's like, we're, we are holding strong to that reality. And that's why they gotta make plastic people because they couldn't break us. We still are angelic. It can't be taken out of you. It can be, but you but you have to give it away, right? By choice. It can be an unconscious choice, but it's got to be a series of choices. And then the thing about choices are, you can always unchoose something, especially when it comes to you. That is, personally, you can always unchoose something. 
when it comes to you. And they need it to be your soul. Not the part of the soul that you share, share with someone, another soul, or that is tainted in, in reference to exchanges or interactions with other souls. It's got to be yours. Because even when it is imbalanced or improper between you and another soul, that's still more so in between you and that other soul. You know what I'm saying? As far as the system and your allegiance to life, that's got to be, they want it, they're trying to make it irreversible. Where it's completely taking you out of the picture, right? To where now, I mean, eventually, I mean, like, it's literally like the Matrix, bro. It's literally like they, they finna start growing babies, bro, growing humans. And incubators, bro. Completely taking the, the womb out of the picture, bro. We finna have a mechanical womb. Why? Well, how are they gonna even justify it? For people who want babies who can't have babies? That, that's not enough reason, bro. That's why we have surrogate mothers, bro. For what reason would you need to grow an artificial womb if it wasn't in blatant disrespect of the goddess? For what reason? Because people want babies that can't have babies? Well, they still not having the baby they self anyway. So, so it's like, is this really gonna happen? They, they trying to look, bro. Anytime that happened, it's a wrap. That can't happen. What? That's we, we, that's 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 when the wants <laughs> exceed the needs, and we can't get to a want a, a pure want, a proper want without the need met. I mean, the need is natural. If there's a baby that is wanted, then it needs to be through a natural process. Otherwise, it's not even the same as what it would be. Right? That would, however that baby, we, we got to see what's going to happen after this synthetically grown person end up having kids and they kids end up having kids. Oh, snap. These kids come out and they, they have this new type of fucking mental disorder. <laughs> To where they, they can set shit on fire with their mind and shit. Oh my goodness, it's unprecedented. We would have never thought this could happen. But now this is a new possibility. Because we was growing babies in bags 200 years ago. And their grandchildren come out with a new color hair and can set niggas on fire with a thought. And oh shit, the baby, now we gotta keep them in darkness till they get old enough not to see nobody first because damn they gonna just be catching niggas on fire because they don't know how to use their power yet we need to open up a whole new bag of ass <laughs> that's a problem with you know what I'm saying wondering what you don't need and needing what you don't want and doing what you don't want to do too much you feel me like that i mean i think that should resonate you got to do what you got to do but why are you not wanting to do what it is that you got to do especially if you got to do it right now, there's an element of acceptance in that. There's an element of humility in that. It's accepting. It, there's an element of of of, of um, hierarchy in that. You know what I mean? Like, not everybody is a king. Not everybody's a thinker. Not everybody is a builder. Not everybody is a is an artist. Not everybody is a is a farmer. Not everybody is a is a fucking merchant. And not everybody is a mother. Not everybody is a parent. Not everybody is a fucking lover. 
not everybody is you not everybody but everybody is themselves and they all know what they like okay right so they're gonna do what they are gonna do regardless and at the end of the day they can't live they can't be themselves if they're not themselves then whatever they're doing is only taking away from their true essence their true self you know what I mean and that in itself compromises anything linked to it anything related to it which everything relates to it because as I mentioned in every in anything you do you're doing every every one thing because all energy is connected and everything that has ever happened has made it possible for you to do whatever particular option is in front of you and the option that you choose out of the options in front of you related to the very option you're focused on or that you're compelled to to realize or notice inspired to consider is related to whatever the opposite of that option is firstly and then also whatever is contrasting to the two sides of the one that you are that you prefer like for instance even if you do choose veal off the menu what what kind of side you want you want mashed potatoes you want rice you want corn are you allergic to pepper you know what i'm saying now an example of the very opposite of this option would be do you want medium or, or well done bill because it's still bill but it's not the same bill it's completely different it's going to taste completely different but it's the still same the same same choice right now you could choose veal nigga nigga like me i'm finna get niggas i'm not i'm I'm only gonna eat at this place once right because the reservation is lined up for 30 million years right you feel me i done stood in line nigga for for seven years nigga trying to get in that bitch you know i was early and i still had to stand in line for seven years because of course you know this is the only this this is not the only restaurant but yeah let's say this is the only restaurant you can go to right it's not the only restaurant. It's, it's just the best one in the universe right now. Right? You, you sit down with your date. You know what I mean? You, have, you, you order you some Chardonnay. You know what I mean? You order her. I'm just going to get her drunk as possible. Because you about to spend all your money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Y'all was already drinking on the way there. What you mean? No, I'm just fucking. Uh, me, I'm going I'm to probably get veal. I'm going to get some alligator i'm gonna get some ostrich i'm gonna get me some motherfucking buffalo meat i'm getting i'm i'm not just getting one fucking option (laughs) i'm choosing condor (laughs) fuck vulture fucking meat fuck fuck some duck or some goose nigga y'all ain't got no condor again what the fuck is popping good no no nigga Feed me some pterodactyl in this. If y'all ain't got no pterodactyl, shit, nigga. I'm reporting y'all niggas, girl. I've been waiting outside seven years for this meal, girl. You better have some pterodactyl on this menu, girl. You better have some pterodactyl on this menu, girl. Or I'm causing a scene in this smoke. <laughs> You ain't getting no more of my business. You ain't got no pterodactyl in this. I'm telling you right now. All right, fine. You ain't no pterodactyl. But shit, man, I'm going to at least give me some anaconda. I ain't never had no anaconda before, girl. You had anaconda before? Shit, we have an anaconda tonight. Yeah, that's right. And what else you want? What else you want? Shit, what, you, what else you want? Off the menu. That's what I'm saying. Do what you want. Do what you want. You might as well do what you want. And because I'm going to tell you like this right now, you're going to, and it's hard. It's like, you know what I mean? You might be only be able to do what you want one time out of everything you've done in your life. And that's beautiful. I'll be liking to see that. You know what I mean? Those cheat, those cheat moments, those cheat nights. You know what I mean? Those little cheat snacks. Shit. You see somebody who, you know what I mean? They've got their turn paper, paper prepared and polished. It's like they ain't never even 
slack up for a moment. You know what I mean? You got a straight A student. You know what I mean? You got a you got a doctorate after undergrad or whatever, right? And this nigga then devoted his entire focus to you know what I mean? Success, right? This nigga's a virgin. No, that's a bad example. There ain't no reason to be a forty-eight. He ain't gotta be a virgin, but you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying he just he's he's just not a. I'm just saying that's just for an example. No, that's the worst example. He's just not a player. I mean. I, He's just not a, I don't know. The nigga's just, he he's lacking panties. You know what I mean? The panties is, is scarce. He's got a scarce sort of plethora of, of panties. And so that's just a sacrifice he's had to make so that he can stay devoted and, you know, locked in, keyed in to his, to his mission, to his goal, to what it is that he set out to do because it's a, a necessity. You know, it's what he wants. And so that even adds to the to the need of it. However, this is what's required for him to be successful. So there's no option once he's made that decision. You know what I mean? He's got these rewards that are not always so related. And so that would take very much creativity and, and dexterity. So as to include as a player, However, that's less necessary. Less necessary. And when it comes to his own personal peace of mind, though, he has to set that to the side until he's done with what he's doing. And that in itself can add an element of peace of mind. You know, that um, reaching towards that anticipation of being able to finally be liberated from, you know, um, designating this range, this amount of conscious energy to this said, you know, necessary action. You know, and it's not all bad. Like, you know, it's beautiful. It's like, it's fun. It can be fun. Anything you're doing can be fun for sure. You know, and even that you're doing it. You know, you got to find the fun in everything that you would be involving yourself in. You know, and that's the point of what I was saying. Like, you do enough of what you want to do, then first of all, you're going to master performing, right? And if you're doing more different things, then you become even that much more versatile in your performances. Because action is action, no matter if it's an expression or a investment or a private practice um, is still a performance. You are performing. Whether it is for others to evaluate your performance or to be ent entertained by your performance or not, that's not what I mean when I say performance. I'm talking about actually, you know what I mean? Doing, to do something is to perform it. As far as what, you know, the necessary performances, that include bringing good to this earth. That is your first assignment. It includes everything that's possible to do, including thinking, which bringing good to the earth would involve, of course, utilizing the earth, which is connected to your mind, connected to your brain, for one. You know what I mean? Your, even your physical brain is made of the same things that the earth is made up of one, okay? You know, you know what I'm saying? The organ of your brain, the organ of your brain, because there's not too many organs that have a particular shape and, and fucking design to it, right? I won't say that. I mean, you can, even your spine, every, everything in your body has a design to it. Even your lungs, your kidneys is shaped a particular way that you can find in nature. That's why they call kidney beans kidney beans, right? Or whatever. But right, you know what I'm saying? You got the the uh, the spinal cord is shaped like a uh, fucking uh, lily flower or some shit, right? You got you know what I mean? You got the, the you know what I mean? The medulla oblongata is served like a snail or whatever. You got you know what I mean? It's like you know that's what I mean or whatever. It's like it's all natural, it's all organic. All the organic materials have like a particular uh, Fibonacci spiral fractal uh, fucking signature imagery or whatever, or a signature sort of, you know what I mean? Uh, and that uh, makeup or whatever, diagramic. 
But what I'm saying though, as far as bringing good to the earth or whatever, that's your assignment as a human. I mean, when you think about it, that makes the most sense. Yes, you like, you do like air, do you not? So that means that, you know, you can't be destroying the earth. So the best thing to do would be to, of course, the, do the opposite of destroying the earth, which would be to bring good to the earth, would be to to nurture the earth, yes? So that, that would, at this point, involve first renovating this bitch. Gotta heal it first before you can even nurture it. Nurturing it is it's healing it is nurturing it. However, it must be healed for it to grow properly. It has to be repaired from its injuries. It's going to repair itself, but that may involve, if we are the ones injuring it, it's expulsion of us. Yes? Yes. So we, I mean, we only got so many options here, is all I'm saying. Okay? When it comes to what you want to do, you can only do what you want to do long as it does not interfere for too long with what is needed to be done. Right? Now, however, whatever that dynamic is, whatever that arrangement is, whatever that bridge consists of between your wants and needs and how much you can get away with not doing that you need to do. Um, in light of or uh, fucking uh, in consideration to what it is that you want to do, the wants that you are doing more of or performing more so over performing your needs, how much of that is different for different people? You know what I mean? Does it take money? Shit. It can, it can involve that. It has become, that has become a, a part of it at this point that we still inflicting injury upon the earth. Yeah, sure. But that's not, that's not the issue. The issue is what's important. What the issue is what's, what's needed. What's, what's important. What's, What's necessary? What's priority? It's the issue. You know, you gotta keep everything in perspective. You gotta approach it structurally. It's tr you know, structurally. It has to be approached structurally. Because there's already a design. There's, you know, there's a divine design, but there's also an organic natural law before any other principle, before any other nigga, uh, idea or decision there's already a natural law so as far as options go and the importance and priority you can only get away with doing so much that does not fall within what is legal for one and not only just judicially legal or deemed acceptable by the whatever government, <laughs> but the very, but the very um, anatomy of this planet, the very natural, the very nature, the very nature itself governs what is possible or impossible or important or best to do, right? So that's what I feel. That's what I know. That's what is obvious as to what would be the wisest thing to pursue, to consider, to allow, to compel us, to allow, to inspire us, to continue to inspire us and then compel us. To accept inspiring and compelling and compelling us towards performance, towards action. Because anything is possible. Not only anything is possible, everything is possible. Anything that's possible is, is possible. 
right? But we doing, we, it's, it, but there's no limits to what you can do, right? There's only limits to what it is that you will do. And it's the limits you place upon yourself with whatever decision you make instead of another decision that you choose. So what is directing your preference? Is it what's most important or most interesting? Right? You know, as I was about to say to you, do what you want because you do too much of what you need to do, then you're not even going to be inspired. Right? Your compulsion is then going to wither and your actions will then be less quality and the good that you're bringing to the earth will be bad in a, you know in a sense because it's not as it's not the best it could be even though it is you're you know what i mean you're you're pursuing a performance that is best you are not at your best you are not at your fullest en enthusiasm yes you know what i'm saying so that matters and that's where you know what i mean that's sort of like the you know the balance of it so that's why you have to do what you want, but you can't have do what you want, right? You want to do what you want, but then also not do what you don't want to do. You feel me? <laughs> Which a lot of times include what you need to do, what you don't want to do, right? So you can't not be doing what you want to do. And then also not want to do what you need to do. Right? Did you fuck around and end up not doing nothing, not doing anything? Right? So it's like you we want to not do what we don't want to do. Right? And then we also be wanting to do shit that we don't do. So that's where we find ourselves right now. Right? You want to do all this shit, but you don't do it for whatever reason. Probably because you are, you know, you're disciplined. You know, you you uh, have uh, what is called priorities. You have standards. You uh, realize that um, it's a luxury to have what you want. It is. It's a gift. It's a, it's a blessing to be able to do anything that you want to do. To be honest. And it doesn't take money. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take money to do what you want to do. Right? It takes those actions. Because what bring you the money? Because you got motherfuckers out here to do, able to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And you got other people out here that who can't do what they would want to do. Because they busy doing what they need to do in order to even have the menu open. Or, you know, to, to be able to have time to come sit down and ch choose from whatever on the menu. You know what I mean? You got motherfuckers backed up at this restaurant with reservations, but then you got fools who they ain't got the time to make no reservation at this restaurant because, of course, they busy working or busy hurting without work. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to doing what you want, you still can do what you want to do. Right? Regardless of whatever's going on. But what is it that you want to do? Is it something that you see some other people doing? Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. Do what you compel to do. Because, because you know what I mean? Desire and passion. You got desire and you got passion. You got passion and you got desire. Right? You got inspiration and you got composure. You got impulse and you got compost. Yes, but when you're compelled to, to to take to take action to perform an action, there's an element of priority already involved in that. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be compelled to do something based on you knowing how to do it, based on you seeing it done somewhere else. Not all the time. A lot of times you'd be compelled, you have a, an urge, a calling to do something that you ain't even never heard about, but that you ain't never done. Even if you've done it 
before. That even sometimes can take uh, away from the the composure, right? Or the impulse, right? Because you already know, you know what I mean? Like you were experienced this, so it's like, it's not a surprise to you. It's not like a, a, something new, something, you know what I mean? Surprising to you, something. It's not like a discovery, you know what I mean? It's not like a, not really a challenge to a certain extent, even though it could be an element of difficulty to it. You've already done it. You already know that you can do it. So it's the, you know, even the challenge is only more of, a, of the, the effort that's involved. But if it's something new, when is something new or something special, special, then it's like it can never be something that it even it's, it's not about wanting or needing, you know, because even needs shift even once shift you know what I mean like you're not gonna really be compelled to do too much of anything that wouldn't be at least acceptable at least the first time it happens it does um but if it's anything that bad then somebody else seen it. You've seen somebody else do it already. And you've seen somebody else do it already. To a certain extent. You know what I mean? You got crimes of passion. That's, that's rare. rare. That's, that's really rare, rare especially now. nowadays. Mm -hmm. And that's always, always. And, and even that is always linked and connected to something other, you know, other outside element. As far as personal actions. And just like your own like thing, like how you get down, what it is that you do, like you know what I mean, what you would do if nobody knew you did, what you would do if nobody else did it, what you would do um, if you, nobody paid you to do. It's what you want to do. It's what you feel compelled to do. It's the performance, the actions you are compelled to perform. Right. So the only thing, the thing about it is those needs and wants, right? Our needs are not met. Our needs are not met anytime there's anyone hungry and anyone fucking, you know what I mean, unsafe. There's anyone without shelter on earth. It's enough to go around. Yeah? New niggas is being born with, with, any of, with anybody that's already born, not already straight. That's an imbalance. That's an imbalance. It's, you know what I mean? You already got to wait seven years in line. That's an imbalance. You feel me? You only get one reservation. That's an imbalance. This, you know what I mean? This restaurant booked for the next 20 million years, yo. Let's get everybody fed out this bitch. Before we open the doors tomorrow, yo. <laughs> no, yes, yes. No. I'm saying. So then we can focus on enjoying our meals my nigga we can focus on enjoying our meals nigga <laughs> we can focus on you feel me sharing our our meals with each other my nigga like because i can only eat so i mean i can't order i might i may want fucking condor i'm you know what i'm saying i may want giraffe meat or peacock meat but I, my plate is only so large the table is only so large <laughs> My date is only so drunk, okay? So, what you eating? Let me get a bite of what you got, cuz. Because we ain't finna come back to this bitch. This the only place that make peacock, cuz. And I got condor. And a little duck. <laughs> Cause I mean, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm traditional like that. You know what I mean? I'm nostalgic. <laughs> I got some duck. Hey, fuck it. You know, you got to be so everything at once. Let me get a piece of your peacock, though, player. Just a little, you know, just a little, little, little peculiar piece of it. Let me get a little. I can't get one flake of the peacock, yo. Look, man. I knew. I should have waited. I should have got farther back in line or next to some niggas that was gonna be down to let me 
taste they peacock, dude. You up in here tripping, acting like it's your pe peacock. All right, that's how, that's your prerogative, man. Do what you want to do, man. Do what you want to do, all right? You know what I'm saying? You can get away with it long enough, nigga. Do what you want, all right? 